Hello everybody, my name is Leonardo and today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the firmware of the X5 family devices from Envis Biometrics. So, these are the devices from X5 family. T5, T5 Pro and M5. And all of them has the have the same firmware structure, so uh, it's the same file to upload the firmware to both of them. To all of them. In case of doubts, please consult our technical support. So, this is very important. Always base yourself on the current firmware version of your device. If you upgrade the wrong version of your device, it might be uh, faulty. The device may have some hardware problems, so be careful. Devices of version 1 can only be upgraded to version 1 firmware. One example, version 1.00 to 1.43. Devices of version 2 and 3 can be only upgraded to version 3 the firmware. So, the most up updated firmware for this version is the 3.20. And the latest, the latest ones from version 5 can only be upgraded to version 5 itself. So, an example 5.03 to 5.37. So let's do it, let's practice it. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to upgrade the firmware of these devices since the downloading link until the end of the process. So, download links are on the video description. Here I have the same content of the video description that I displayed it there on this video. So, in our test, we are going to upgrade a device to version 3.20. So, let's use the download link for this version. We just, only need, we just need to copy and paste on our browser. And then, choose the second option to download the firmware file directly to our hardware, our hard disk through the browser. Once it's finished, we just need to extract these files. I'm, I'm gonna extract them in my desktop to be easier for us. But before starting the upgrade process, I will show you how to authorize the USB communication for this family. This family is a little bit different from our other devices because they don't have menu, they don't have display. So we need to use the enroll card to authorize the USB communication. Let's see the tutorial. The USB communication is necessary to upgrade the firmware, so you cannot upgrade your device by another communication method or TCP IP or serial. It needs to be by USB communication. So, firstly, connect the USB cable between the device and your computer. After the equipment load, insert the enroll card to enable communication. So, this is very important because if we don't do this, the device won't communicate by USB. This is a safety process and is improved on the device. So, if you don't have the authorization, you might not be able to extract or change files inside the memory of the device. The equipment will be three times authorizing the communication. So let's see the video now where I explained how to do this. So once the authorization is complete, we can proceed with the download link and the firmware upgrade. The download links are on the video description, so I suggest you to check before uh, the current version of your device and then select the respective upgrade for this device. So this is the executable file and the firmware itself. We open the executable file and select the firmware inside of it. 
once it's authorized, we just need to upgrade the device. If the communication is OK, this window is shown for us with the current version of the device. If you want to upgrade, just click on OK. If the communication fails, I suggest to you to review the USB authorization we just seen now. Once it's finished, the device is upgraded. So to keep the USB communication, you can put the enroll card again to authorize it. Because after the upgrade, the device reboots itself. So, and this video is this. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope this information can be useful for you. Please share with your customers, share with your technicians, subscribe to our channel. I'm going to put videos here, uh, tutorials, software, catalog of products. Please subscribe and you'll be updated automatically with the, the news I will be posting on the channel. Have a nice day. See you on the next video. Bye.